Um, just to jump in, uh, because we've been told that Sky News now understands the northern leg of high-speed rail, which is the line linking Birmingham to Manchester, is going to be scrapped. I mean, look, there's been lots of reports of this. It's been trailed before. It's not unexpected. But it still feels like it's a massive. pretty big moment. So this, is, this is a policy that's been you know, supported and advocated by government after government after government, most of them Conservative. And, well, this... <laughs> So it, it, is, it is a big moment. And yet, yeah, like you say, this has been kind of talked about for the last few weeks. And there has been speculation, actually, kind of for a few yeah. years, that this might be... You've got the, the northern leg, but also the bit to Euston as well, yeah. where, where spades are in the ground, as Richard Zunat likes to say. But it couldn't come at a more awkward moment than here at party conference in Manchester to, to make that decision. You know, I was just out today talking to businesses, saying, you know, that they, they are already making plans on the basis of this leg of HS2. And it goes to something deeper. You know, a lot of them are just not sure what the government's strategy is. They, they don't know what, whether the government doesn't have a strategy on this, on energy, on taxes in general. And there's just general confusion about the kind of about the direction of travel. Just on, this has been trailed uh, for days now, and you've seen pieces in the paper where government insiders clearly making their case for scrapping it. The concern for the Prime Minister has been that the original bill has, has um, galloped along with rising inflation and now this is going to be uh, packaged as one of the tough choices he's making now for the longer term future. Many people that want HS2 uh, to be completed will say it's exactly the opposite, that it's a short term decision. Um, no less what, than George but, Osborne. But what exactly, George Osborne, Theresa May, yeah. Boris Johnson. William Hague, everyone. What, but what I think you will see from this and what, what insiders have been talking about is that, you know, if this is scrapped or when it's scrapped, that announcement then with the money that comes back to the Treasury and into the government coffers, I mean, in the long term future, that that will be redeployed for different transport links around uh, the North England, linking up uh, east and west in a way that the Prime Minister will be able to argue, I'm still doing it, but I'm not going to sanction uh, a project that is now loss making to the taxpayer and, and, and now not economically viable.